hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you some improvements uh, i've made to obj exporter and importer as well so uh, well, for this video uh, first we're gonna start to export uh, sculpt in uh, mesh morpher uh, sculpt in blender and import back in uh, mesh morpher so uh, we will export uh, this metahuman head along with its body and uh, in the second example, we will export a selection from this head along with the body, right? So let's see how it works. Uh, we will uh, go to tools, export to OBJ, export mesh as OBJ. And here we will append uh, the body, right? So we will add the body and uh, we will weld the meshes, the, uh, these meshes for a uh, for uh, this uh, particular example, you can export unwelded, but uh, we want uh, unwelded in this case, right? Don't forget if you weld to set a vertex tolerance of 001 or whatever, don't leave it zero because not uh, it will not weld uh, everything uh, as it should, right? So just set something like 001 here. So I'm gonna press okay. And uh, here we have to uh, select a path where we want to put this. And uh, I'm going to uh, put it uh, in this folder and call it a Tore full no selection, right? Because we will make another uh, uh, file. We will export another file in the second example, right? So I'm going to save this and then I can go to Blender and uh, see what I got here. So uh, I'm going to import, import from OBJ and uh, navigate to uh, my folder. And I have this uh, OBJ file here and I can either uh, split by object or not. I'm gonna show you both uh, cases. Don't forget to select X as forward and uh, Y as up. And uh, here it, how it looks uh, uh, with groups uh, enabled, right? So we can see we have each uh, uh, section, each material from both uh, uh, skeletal meshes. And uh, now uh, with the, the latest update, we now export for the appended meshes each uh, material as well in its own group, right? So. Uh, this is uh, pretty cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna undo this uh, import. I don't uh, want to. I want to sculpt them together. So I'm gonna just go to away from OBJ. Gonna select this and I'm gonna deselect split by object. I'm gonna import it right. So now I have uh, just a uh, uh, one uh, uh, material here. I can go to sculpt now and uh, just uh, do some. Uh, stuff here just modify it just i'm gonna modify it on the uh, seam here where it blends with the body right and uh i think for this particular example we're good to go right okay we're gonna export this and uh, we're gonna export uh, to obj and we're gonna create here another folder and uh we're gonna call call it morphed files just so we can identify it and uh, now we can uh, export i usually leave this default but uh forward axis as x and uh, y as up right so I'm going to export this and um, let's do some other changes here. Let's create some other stuff. We're going to create two files. I think this is it. This untitled two. And now we can go back to Unreal Engine uh, in Mesh Morpher, right? So now we have two choices here. We can either 
uh, import them uh, one by one uh, by uh, going to more files selecting a file just pick a morph name and import it right it's gonna be here and uh, another thing we can do we can uh, enable bulk import don't forget to automatically overwrite if uh, you did uh, this before and you have uh, morph targets uh, with similar names uh, select the morph directory and we can just select the morph files directory and uh, press on create and now it will create uh, our morph targets uh, automatically from uh, that folder right We will see the files here. And uh, we can apply the same files for uh, uh, the body. We will open a Tore body. And uh, we will go to create from mesh files. We will select the same base file and the same folder. We exported them uh, with body appended, so we have everything we want uh, here. Okay, and now we can check it out and uh, we will see that we have uh, the body uh, morph targets as well here, right? Another thing uh, we can do is uh, to export a selection and append uh, uh, a mesh, a skeletal mesh. So let me disable this and let me create another morph target, test empty doesn't matter whatever name you pick open it and i want to just export the head section the head material and uh, append the body mesh so if i go to edit selection and export mask uh, selection to obj uh, i'm gonna select the body and I'm going to leave these uh, options the same as before. And I'm going to call this with selection so I can identify it, right? I'm going to save this. And uh, now I can go back to Blender. Just going to press new here. I'm going to import our uh, OBJ uh, file, the one with the selection. I'm going to select X as forward, Y as up. I'm going to deselect split by object. And now I can, uh, I can sculpt and I only have uh, the big components, the head and the body without uh, any eyes or teeth or whatever. Let me uh, do some stuff here. Oh, no. so, let's select the grab tool. Let's increase a little bit this brush here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to export this to obj and uh, i'm gonna select x as forward and y as up axis and uh, i'm gonna export and go back to mesh morpher go to create from mesh files select the base file the selection which only contains the head and body without any small components and then i'm gonna select the morse file right i'm gonna give it a name morphed 
está esto. And I'm gonna do the same for the body. Let's go to the body, create from mesh files. Gonna select our OBJ file and then the morph file. And it's gonna look like this. And uh, I'm gonna give it uh, what name? Uh, morph test 2. Doesn't matter, you can pick any name, but it's easier to identify. Okay, and uh, now we can test it. We can open our morph test 2. And uh, to test if it blends correctly with the body, you can go ahead and open uh, the body uh, as a skeletal uh, reference mesh and enable your morphed test 2. Let's open this. And here it is, it, it blends uh, correctly, no gaps, right? So uh, this is it for this video. I just wanted to show you some changes I've done to OBJ importer and uh, exporter. We now have bulk uh, import. We can now export uh, uh, selections so with uh, appended meshes. We can append uh, any number of meshes. And uh, yeah, this is it for this video, guys. Thank you. Bye.